And hello everybody, the following recording is from a meeting I had with the Senko department at Calderdale Council. There is bleeps throughout the meeting to take out certain names and addresses and things like that. So that's why there is bleeps in the content. But this is the kind of procedure you go through with Calderdale Council to get education. Uh, right, so uh, I'm John Perry, I'm the SEM manager for Calderdale. It's uh, Thursday the 11th yeah, of yeah. January in 2018, yes. yeah, and uh, we're in the town hall. Uh, you have agreed that you will make sure that the local authority, through my address, has a copy of these notes from this recording. Yes, yeah? I will. And you are? I am David Joe MacDonald. And I'm an ex student with Calderdale, and I've been let down and this point of the education I've been receiving. Um, isn't it? Yes. Right, I'm Jamie's mum, and I've come about as <laughs> today for education. Right. And I'm also a carer. Right, what's, so, sorry, what's your name, mum? It's a small capital D. Yeah, yeah, I, I, surname's the same, yeah. I, I, I got yeah. from. No, can, can I, first of all, just clarify then, because you, you've just said you've come about... As well as yeah. yourself, yeah, come about... But, yourself. Right, that's okay, because one of the things, David, in your letter to me, yeah, yeah which I've responded yeah. to, you were clear to say this was about your concerns my concerns yeah and, and i'm happy to and i said i'd meet and i'm more than happy to meet i know you made contact with the mp's office i did yeah and the mp's office felt that it wasn't necessary for them to be at this meeting yeah, yeah. but i have no problem in discussing your concerns which led to your letter with you yeah, yeah david yeah. i really don't have an issue i'm yeah. quite happy to do that yeah. the, the, the thing you said is you've come about yeah, yeah is uh, a, a young person who I really shouldn't discuss and that's in the meeting as well because she has the ability to join in that discussion with your support I accept that you might want to be with her but if I'm going to talk about yeah she needs to be included and I don't have a problem discussing her whatsoever yeah but if she is to be included if there is to be a discussion about her, she needs to be included. Yeah, that would be absolutely core to our obligations as a council. Yeah, the the legislation is clear that it has to be with the young person at the centre. Yeah, so I don't have a problem discussing your sister, David. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, but but it does need to be with her. Uh, and if we need to set up another meeting for that, that causes me no problem at all because. Uh, I did write separately, <laughs> copy to yourself, didn't I? And, and, and had <laughs> or you on her behalf, and <laughs> here, I would have come prepared for that discussion as well, yeah? Okay. So, are we okay to part that one and you to go to talk? <laughs> yeah? But you see my dilemma. My dilemma is, is that the legislation requires a young person to be at the centre of any discussion. No problem. She was going to be here today, but obviously circumstances have changed when she's at home with the dad. I'm sorry, legislation is a false word for me for being dismissed. Right, sorry. To explain what no, that means. sorry. It, it's basically the, the, the law and the regulations around how the council operates its, its policy for special educational needs, yeah? Yeah, yeah? And it has, at the centre of the legislation is, and it's changed from when you were a young person at school or yeah, college, yeah. at the centre of the legislation from 2014 has been the young person when they are over age 16, yeah? yeah? Which has changed from when you were at that age, yeah. 16, into college, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's what I mean by legislation. Yeah. Uh, but my concern, I know I'm not allowed to <laughs> I'm not allowed to <laughs> but my concern, if the government 
has signed a declamation form to give all the rights <laughs> to say to my mum, to my dad, and it's been signed in by the government. Which which form are you talking about? Then? I'm talking about the form where the person comes out to answer for when when claiming benefits right. and stuff like that. Same. Which 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 is every which is different in a sense because every individual decision around the young person is a fresh decision involving the young person yeah, yeah? and it's about that young person's uh, uh, ability to take part in that discussion yeah. clearly there's an onus uh, an expectation yeah. on me and your mum and anyone yeah. else supporting yeah. use our language carefully yeah. but there's an expectation so if we're talking about and her concern about next steps in education, yeah, it needs to include her. Yeah, even though that for the instance of benefits, she has allowed someone else to take that responsibility yeah. because that's a different decision that she's looking right. into. So uh, if I went and got a social worker and the social worker does a form to a man and say he's not capable of doing this meeting, which he's got a, a fancy name, which I can't remember, you probably know the Capacity. Name. Capacity. Yeah. And, and, and you are right, that I've tried not to use the fancy name because yeah. you asked me yeah. to be careful yeah. in, in my language, yeah. 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 But ability, capacity, yeah. yeah. Uh, each decision around that, yeah, you don't get a blanket for everything has not got the capacity it's around each decision that the young person is engaged with. This is her life, yeah? Yeah. And she needs to be centre, not just a part, but centre to it. And that's the spirit of the legislation. I understand at the moment, and I'm being careful here, I might drift into talking too much about her, that, uh, that there is a social worker in the middle of doing some work with her, yeah? yeah? And that's a discussion that you are welcome to have with that social worker yeah. about capacity yeah. yeah I am quite happy if the social worker and myself want to meet at the same time with you yeah. as advocates family members yeah. that's no problem yeah but 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 it is absolutely the case that each decision is individual so if for her benefit form that someone else can take that responsibility fine. And that doesn't mean that she's signed away all decision making, yeah? And nor can she uh, 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 be not included in this process because it's about her, yeah? Yeah, which is centre, yeah? yeah. And, and, and since 2014, that's been one of the keys to the legislation because I think government felt that before 2014, we all too often did things for young people rather than with young yeah. people and maybe you got stuck up in that as well I don't know whether you recognize any of that well I to be honest and you're not going to be unhappy with that called the day of let me down badly and that's what I'm here to discuss right so about. so if I'm, I'm quite happy to discuss yeah. that yeah I, I don't know what you want to do mum uh, around right, I've got some questions to uh, you, and I just want to try and understand the procedure of right. it so I'm going to just read you something out and let you answer them to me because then I get a better understanding. This is for you, whatever. I need to see this. Um, it says, what is a teaching assistant? Like, these are some questions about people. Like, what is a teaching assistant? Well, I mean, it's somebody that helps me in the classroom. Yeah. Who, who, who yeah. are those? I, are these more general questions? These, are more general, these questions. are more general Just general, because he's had these in his life as well, and a lot of other people have too. So, 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 you, so, so you'd like some ideas, some definitions, yeah. not specific or specific to David? No, it could be anybody. With, right. Yeah, it could right. be anybody. Because I've had experience. Right, so, 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 so well. the term teaching assistant, it can vary in terms of the whether it's a primary school or a secondary school or a college, different labels are sometimes used, but it is someone who is variously supporting the teacher in teaching or including that young person, child, in teaching and learning. So you can have teaching assistants who work 
with the whole class, a reception class often has a teaching assistant because they are young to support all the children with the teacher. That used to be called a nursery nurse sometimes, yeah? And uh, uh, in older classes, in secondary schools in particular, you would get sometimes teaching assistants who were focused around an individual student with a statement in the past and an educational health and care plan now. And in college, they tend to call them something different sometimes, yeah? Uh, learning support assistant or something like that. But they would be, in college, they, they in different colleges, they either allocate them to the young person to support their access to learning alongside the teacher, or they have them working with a group depending on the nature of the course. So at Kirtley's College, for example, they have a, 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 a course which is led by a teacher, but which has a teaching assistant for the whole group. And then they might have individual teaching assistants. Do they assistants. have to be qualified in any way? Do they have to be qualified? They, there is no technical legal qualification as an expectation. Well, do it. No, you, you're do supposed to act. Well, you don't need I'm a degree. Not anyone, 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 you don't like need that. a degree, but you need, you need a, 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 a good quality education. Yes, you need appropriate education. And the school are responsible, or the college, are responsible for uh, well, uh, recruiting. Well, I need to go in and help with reading in one of the classrooms. Yeah, and, so and that I've wouldn't be the same. Bit, that I'm wouldn't be the same as a teaching assistant, would it? But, yeah, so but, but sometimes good. people use that experience and their general education to begin to move towards teaching assistant jobs. There are, there are degrees uh, available more recently in, for teaching, uh, uh, for support staff in the, in the classroom, yeah? But it isn't compulsory, no. Schools make their own decision there. Okay, that's what it says on here. What is well, an act did, and what is a law? What, what's one for the other? Right, I'm, yeah. not a, I'm, not a, I'm not a solicitor, so for the benefit of the tape, this is my understanding, not my yeah. legal definition. Yeah. Uh, uh, an Act of Parliament is uh, uh, like the Children and Families Act 2014. It's a piece of legislation that has been yeah. discussed by the House of Commons and the House of Lords and has been voted and signed by the Queen and becomes an Act. It then is the law. It sets out measures right. that the law would want to do, uh, should, no, not want to do, the law says have to be done, if you like, in certain circumstances. Can you just repeat the last bit of that, please? It just says, what is an act and what is a law? Right, that's, so the act brings in the law, in essence. Right. So, as a ha act passed government, then? An act, yes. It starts out as... A, a, what's so an called, act isn't a law. It is. An act l brings a law in. It starts it, it out... It has to pass a law then, you're saying, basically. It has a, to, a, an act has to pass to become a law. You, you don't... Unless you have an act, you don't have a law. An okay. act brings a law to. into place. Right, so there's a law yeah. that says that you should stop at a red traffic light. Yeah? yeah. That was brought about because of an act of Parliament. Nah, yeah. And before that, you have what's called a bill, which is where they're proposing and asking the public on what they think. Okay. The next one is, what is the role of an education officer? Well, I don't quite know where the questions are coming from, but education officer can be used completely differently in different contexts, yeah? It really can. So you can have colleges which would have an education officer. It's a label which is used for various roles. Are you asking specifically about the SEN officers or education officers per se? Because the council employs a range of officers to do education functions. It's more to do with the education and the training opportunity, basically. So, education officer, uh, uh, for example, we have children who are looked after by the council, uh, people who are in the care of the local authority for various reasons, yeah. They have an edu there is an education team of officers whose role it is to help schools support their access to learning. That would be one type of education officer, yeah. They work with what's called the virtual school. 
There are other officers of the council who have roles like education welfare officer, yeah, who work with the council. There are other areas of the council, such as the special educational needs team, which employs special educational needs officers. Yeah? So it's a multifaceted title, but in the council it's used for various roles. Yeah? And, and uh, 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 sometimes you'll see that colleges or schools employ people themselves. Schools these days can employ people to do uh, uh, education welfare roles. So am I way off the, the mark there, David? No, it's just, I've just listened to what you're saying. And I'm just experience. going back to personal oh, experience, I'll say, but the way I've dealt with, learned to deal with things is to laugh now. No, no, it's just, I, I'm I've just done. wondering if, because you, you, you're asking me some quite, Theoretical questions. Yeah. yeah, I just want to understand because if I get a better understanding of what it entails, then I'm a in a better position for both my adult children because they have both got learning disabilities in all different ways. Because we do not get explained. Please. And nobody explains any of these to you. You yeah. just entirely you're just supposed to know it all. Well, we don't. Know, I didn't know the act had changed. Have you so heard? Of, have have you another. heard? Of, have you heard of the local offer? You will have done because it's on the letters that we've sent to. So the local offer is 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 an online tool that the council has. All councils have that say what is on offer locally and how that families and communities are involved in that and are explain some of the services which are there. Yeah, now that's all new legislation, David. Yeah, yeah and it is difficult to look at you when you were at school, because when did you leave school? Well... School, school. School, school, well I got pulled out and I'm educated, you should know this. No, I do know that, but I can't remember the year, David. Uh, it should be... Like, was it 2008 or something like, like, that. like that? Between 2008 and 10. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, so that. that's four years before the change in legislation, so at your time, this local offer wasn't something that was required or was dreamt of. But well, now, I've had no letter to say this has changed. Well, you won't have had a letter uh, uh, aside from any of the stuff around... ..which does include reference to our local offer on the letter, yeah? So it is in our letters, yeah? It says, for more information on the local offer, see, and it tells you on all of the letters, yeah? Certainly the more recent ones. I'll look into it. Right, and it gives the web link. Yeah, I'm looking to that. What is your experience of with, with children? Like my personal experience. It says, it says, yeah. Well, the, these are different questions. That the, the, I want to try and get a broad band to let all people like myself that don't understand these or would love to understand these that don't. I want to know what their educational about and what it entails. Right, well, I, I, I'm quite Being happy. working with learning disabilities, the I'm, mental law. I'm quite well, I enjoy happy. working with children. Of course, obviously, if you want to be in education, you've got to learn. You've got to want to love to work with children. I'm, 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 I have no problem sitting here talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. But this, but David's letter was clear that David, you wanted to talk about your issues. Yeah. yeah. This is this is public using time that we've got to be careful of for wider issues. If you want to know my experience, David, yeah, uh, I, I I started out as a teacher. Yeah. yeah. I've worked in, in mainstream and special schools, yeah, uh, uh, I've worked with children with a wide range and young people with a wide range of learning needs, yeah, and uh, this is throughout my whole career, yeah, yeah. I've separately worked for the uh, uh, National Association of Special Educational Needs, yeah. yeah, so I have a wide range of experience both in schools and for the council and out of the council, yeah. yeah? The council employs uh, a, a range of SEN officers who have different experiences. We've got people who have come from uh, a school background, we've got people who have come from a college background, we've got people who have come from an early years background, we've got people who have come from uh, a, 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 a paediatric therapy background, all working with people with special educational needs. Yeah, we've got a range of experiences. Yeah, but if you're asking me specifically, the, no, the, I, I, I've got a range. But what I want to make sure is we, we focus on the issues that you wanted to focus. So I'm quite happy to answer a few general well, questions. Well, I just want to know because it just says, okay, tell me more about what HNC. I don't know what HNC is. 
We don't, we don't why, is this, why is this coming to it's the It's something to discussion. do with a programme of care, that's all I've got. Uh, and who, who's giving you that? This is what we've got from the internet. Well, uh, I, 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 the letters HNC, yeah, out of context, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't place that, yeah, I might need some context about which site you got that from, what he's talking about, I, I might hazard a guess about letters, but it, it, it doesn't ring an instant bell to me. I can think of a learning qualification, but I suspect that's not what you're... Well, it's more to do with learning disability. Interviews. We get told all these fancy government particular words that's what's landed by an evil corporation, which I'm sorry, John, you work for. We don't understand what anything is. We're just put on the bandwagon and we don't understand. So it, that's it, why I've come to see it, because I don't understand. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I understand I'm, that. Yeah. If you feel that there's, there's a system which hasn't worked and included you, fine, that's an issue, yeah. yeah? And I'm happy to discuss that. To call it an evil corporation, when it's not a corporation, yeah, but it's something which runs local services and has elected members through through elections, and presumably you're registered to vote, so you voted for uh, local councillors and all of that. I, I take a little bit of concern with this. Isn't a, a, a privatised service? This is a public service with elected members, and hence we're in one of the elected members. Uh, buildings, yeah, at the moment, yeah. So, uh, 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 is the concern that you feel a little bit? I feel let like down. Alienated uh, from the language, the and then let education down. Education to social right. services. So, so in terms of yourself, David, what do you feel uh, that that you want me to try and pick up from today? Oh, because I can hear you. Yeah. yeah. But what is it you want me to go away and try and do? What? 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 My. What, well, I just want. I know that you won't probably won't be able to answer me these questions. But I want to know why. I. I'm one of the people in Caldwell, as well as the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Well, other people have been let down, but you're just letting us on the bandwagon. We've all been let down. That's, not, that's, not, that's why I'm, I've come right, to see and, you. And how specifically do you feel that, that you have been let down? It physically feels he's being let down. I want to know why it is Calderdale cannot meet our needs. We have to go out of Calderdale to find our needs. I've had to go to Huddersfield to try and, find, to try and get educa educa a decent education. I've had to go to Leeds to get a decent education. Luckily Leeds was be able to help me. Why couldn't I do that in Calderdale with your support? Right, right. So, so, so what you're saying is that since you left school, and you're quite right, uh, uh, towards the end of your school career, your parents made the decision to uh, educate you yeah. at home. Yeah, you then had, I think, about a year and a bit, and then you left the school system because you were of that age, yeah, and you went on into college, yeah, yeah. and because at that time the legislation did not allow statements to continue into college, yeah, your statement of special educational need legitimately ceased because you'd left the school system. School age, it stopped at the end of going to school, you went on to college, yeah? Are you saying that, that, that locally there weren't the courses to meet your needs? There was a course, wasn't it? Right, because... It went to an English course at Coverdale College. It started off four days a week. Then it went to two days, then one. How, as a person with needs of dyslexia, etc., we know about him. We'll learn anything in one day, we? Right, I, it's difficult for us to comment because I don't know the course. If you able to share with me the, to the, de the details, yeah. yeah, and have you talked to, you said Coddell College, did you raise your concerns at the time and talk to them? Yes, I raised yeah, my worries. I spoke to, uh, I think it was a lady in your department. Uh, I think she's retired now, I don't want in. It was That's why you moved to Huddersfield. Yeah. It was a lady. Well, the, the trouble is that yeah, they're, they're, that they're mainly all the ladies, aren't they? And, and that's no disrespect. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's Do you remember the lady's name? Mm. I've seen that many people up and down over the years going round in circles. Got did, did, to remember ha, have you, did you... Did you get? Did you refer yourself via the gateway to social care? Did you pick up on any of those referrals? Did you have a social worker at any stage after school age when you became an adult? I didn't know what we to want to be. Right, so you no, did. No. You did. So there was there was no social worker, no referral to adult care. So the concern you you're saying. Did you come out of the house to visitors? Say it was with people who had home education. 
We're talking. For Jamie. We're talking. I was just referring to and close then we school. Went to, to college age. when it got to you the did. Age. You did. Yeah. That's right. And that is perfectly legitimate. Yeah. As a parent, you have the right then yeah. and now to take your youngster of school age out of school. Yeah. There is a, a fairly simple mechanism that allows the local authority to obviously take some fairly simple steps that you, you actually do exist at home and that there are actually well, safe. Yeah, at home. But, but that's, yeah, that's another issue. That's, that's a completely yeah. different issue, yeah. Uh, at the time, you would have had the opportunity to discuss your concerns with the school, with the officers around at the and time. And I was done. Yeah, and you made a decision to do that. I'm referring to the courses that, David, you said, were, went from 4, 3, 2, 1 at college, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which you just said yeah. yes to, yeah. So, it, are you... But when he was uh, at that school, he was locked in the classroom. Yeah. And but I wasn't told. I got told by a dinner later. Yeah. And was I asked me why was I said I didn't even know who was. And, and well, when you say at school, are you talking and about... And I did fetch that, but I said for a meeting that I had school. school. So you're talking about the old Holy Trinity Senior yeah, School? Yeah, right. It was the same cool person. But, the but it was called Holy Trinity yeah. Senior yeah, School. Yeah, it was then, yeah. It was that. And that school, yeah, yeah. Uh, was meeting his needs. You presumably had the discussions there as mum with him, yeah, and made your decision. At the same coming in after it, not before it. You, you had some discussions through because you were just satisfied. I was trying to get him back to the same meeting every so often, and that is when it was discussed. Right. Yeah. So, David, what is it you want me to on behalf of the council look into around that because you are you appreciate you're talking historically you're talking about a school yeah mm -hmm. is it is it the, the courses at college concerns you the course or is it the course or is it as your mum's just said the bit about school that you're particularly concerned about i'm concerned about all of it i think it's your your your, your job uh, well i take your job as a way because uh, you're a sen officer your job is to make so the disabled learner or student, or what you want to call them, person, is to get a, a decent education, education and the sport they need to go through education. And from bandwagon, where it might not be you, it might be somebody else doing your job, it's not giving the guidance that that person, that student, that lady, that boy, whatever you want to call them, through to being able to work. And the problem is why people are committing so many deaths in cold today is that the main majority of them are disabled. And the, and the main majority is because they're being let down by people like back doing your well, job. Do, do, that's what I, that's you, my experience. On, on one level, you're obviously you're concerned, and I hear that, yeah. But on one level, you're telling me a general concern about how you feel disabled young people in Caldwell are supported, yeah? And on another level, you're saying to me you're concerned about yourself, yeah? yeah. I can, if you're clear about what it is that you feel that like I ought to be looking into, although to be honest with you, we're talking about school provision some yeah. years back, but yeah. if you're clear about what it is you would like the council to comment on, yeah? In your letter you refer to taking legal advice, yeah? yeah. So, what is it that you want around yourself? If you the generally, system, you the appear to feel. It's changed from when he was at school to what my daughter is now. It is, it yeah. is changed. But my daughter's been let down too. There's too many people being let down. It's still coming down. There's too many people I'm, being I'm, let down. That's, There's that's, too many suicides in Halifax. The, 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 the one of the highest rates, and it's not fair. Right, so there's, so there's, there's wider, issue, there's wider issue. issues here, isn't there? Yeah. And I mean, we could have discussed this at a meeting, but a letter came out, and it came out the same day as the meeting, and there was no way we could care, get the carers to come in to look after our children, because the meeting was on the same day. Even if you've got young children... What, what letter were we referring to? Sorry. To go for a meeting, for care meetings for people. It was a letter that came through. You and mean, the, historically, when, Jay, when David was at it's school? It's about all carers could call to this meeting and have their say. Oh, you mean a local area meeting yeah, more recently? and it came the same day as the meeting. I'll, I'll get, get right. care. Right, have you heard, David and, 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 and Mum, about an organisation called Unique Ways? No, no. you just told us. <laughs> oh, I'm asking, no, no, I'm no, asking you, you, just said have it. you heard, yeah? <laughs> Your, 
you're okay with the internet and all that? With support, yeah. You what, sorry? With support, because I'm dyslexic, which you know about. No, no, as a family, you yeah, have access yeah, to that yeah, and you're okay yeah. doing the internet and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. If you, if you look up unique ways, plus Halifax, yeah, uh, uh, on the internet, you will find there is a support organisation, yeah, uh, uh, it used to be called Parent and Carers, but it has a name, Unique Ways, to, to show what it really does. It's for people with, with individual needs, with disabilities, with special education, with additional needs, whatever label you want. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, a lot of what you're talking about there is a concern that you feel that locally, I don't know whether you mean locally Coldenale or locally in your area of Coldenale, that families are being let down. Yeah? And that's a really good organisation. It's a support organisation, it's not the council. Yeah. Well, they had a recent talk with one public house and they had one for all of that. And, and, and that was presumably them. around the high needs to you. Mm -hmm. But this Unique Ways organisation is a form which your, someone with your interest yeah, would be more than welcome, at, I am sure, to make contact with them and then you can if you're concerned about area-wide issues yeah because one of the things you've just said is there's too many suicides in 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 halifax yeah and it's way above that's what you said yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, halifax. yeah. i think you both by sorry you said Colin, yeah. so it, you quoted figures yeah uh uh and some of these people he's known me to school with yeah. I can give you a list of names. Uh, well, and, uh, I know uh, 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 my point that. there is, is that you're talking about very, you're talking about general issues. I will feed back your concern about how you feel that areas of the population are being let down. I can feed it into my senior managers, yeah, who obviously I talked to before I written to yourself, yeah, and well, I am giving you something that you can also do where you will be able to find like-minded people of concern, yeah, where you'll be able to talk through the issues and you, that may be an outlet for your frustrations as well, but more generally, yeah, because you're, you're moving into broader than you issues, aren't you? Yeah, and you feel, and it's very difficult for me to respond and say the council will do X, the council will look into Y. Yeah? yeah, meaning various things, yeah. but there's some general stuff. Yeah, yeah. so it, unique ways. Yeah, uh, uh, plus Calderdale in Google, it will come up. And if you can't, yeah, uh, dig out one of the letters that has been sent. <laughs> you should see our local offer on the bottom. I'm sure it's there's a link from there. Yeah, if not, well, that you can. Well, leaflet that came through, we did show it to social worker and she'd written it down because she actually agreed when it came up and she was there. Well, I. Uh, as I said, I can talk to the social worker, yeah, and, and I'm giving you an opportunity. Uh, uh, and this an social outlet. worker's all coming now because Colin Dale Collins says, <laughs> what, because we pulled her out of college. If we stayed at the college, then we wouldn't, she wouldn't even be here. Well, I'm not so sure that's the case because, as far as I understand, <laughs> referred to Gateway to Care before, had she? Years ago, but we're not talking about years ago, I'm talking about why she's been at Calderdale. Uh, my point is, is that she hadn't referred herself recently, had she? Anything. Or yourselves with support. I haven't her. referred her to do anything no. either. That's my point. So, so been there for three years, we gave a chance to give her that help. And because we pulled them out and wanted to go to a different college, they decided to get a social worker involved and say she needs a social worker. And, 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 and I'm not bothered about social worker, we've got nothing tied. Well, it's not, it's social, yeah. workers, social workers yeah. don't work. As social workers have a much broader role than, your, yeah, than people that. perceive they have, so to do. it, it doesn't mean anything at all. It just means it's a role that's there to work with families. Well, it right. doesn't and I think it's them to do the transport side of it. Or is it the education that does the transport side? But when they want to transfer, like you've got a long way. I don't know if it was the education side that did it or if it was social services that paid for the, for the transport. Are you talking about... Transport pre 16 or post 16. Are you talking because education provides transport? Because she's not able to travel on her own. She can't travel on her own. She education provides transport for youngsters of statutory school age, and, and transport is paid for another box for 
youngsters who are post-statutory college yeah. yeah. I mean, because it's not, herself, because it's not, locally. because it's not yeah. statutory. There's a difference in in law about, yeah, you, know, you, you need to access these places. Yeah. I know she got it from Woodfield, and she could have had it for Calderdale, but with it being local enough, we decided to take her herself and save Calderdale the money. But because it wanted to go further afield, this transport thing will be coming up again. And, and yeah. there is a discussion around yeah. her need for transport, but this is more for the. Yeah, and I prefer to have that I discussion mean, with So if we're going back to, to you, David, yeah, in terms of your wider concerns about the feeling that, that the council lets down families with disability, that's what you've said, yeah. yeah, not what I'm saying, yeah. That's your perception, yeah. I've given you a, 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 a I've heard what you said, I've talked to senior managers and say that's your perception, yeah. But in terms of support and, and an opportunity to have your voice, I'm suggesting Unique Ways is an organisation for parent and carers and young people, yeah? yeah. And, and, and that might be an avenue. It meets at uh, Hanson Lane, uh, 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 near St Augustine School in the business park up there. They have some offices. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next one is, it covers Jamie as well as any other education people in Asia. Is spelling tests and thing, and the I'm they talking get about asked. the dyslexic tests that you have to do for to find out if you're dyslexic or not. That is wrong. It needs to be changed. You cannot expect a disabled person to sit in a classroom and spell out words. It's wrong. I'm not talking easy words like cat or all like that. I'm talking. Do I know the weather? Or the weather? Or the weather? Or the weather? Or the weather? Uh, are you talking about school? Please spell weather. Yeah. Are you and talking about what happened at, uh, 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 what you perceive was what happened at Trinity? Oh, well, I was going to say that about orange and blue, we spell course. the word colour. Now, somebody with it, like it's ourselves, we can spell it. I mean, there's two ways of spelling, because many can spell it, take the year, we spell it a different way, obviously. See well all you are. They're expecting but to do this test. A but learning disability yeah. wants to spell that word. Which is totally impossible. Yeah. Now, are you talking about the assessment or the work that follows? I'm talking about the assessment to do to find out if you're dyslexic, if you're dyspraxic. You're well, the assessment will, well, assessments are, are tools that will include things you can do and then, by the very definition, things that you struggle with because that's how you find out. Well, I'm, talk, I'm, talk, I'm talking about questions like red, amber, Orange, blue, green, pink are colours of the rainbow. Please smell colours. That's psychastic. And, and, that and, and, and you're talking about detail. I, again, it's got no context, David. Is this it's about psychastic? Like is the weather of the weather is the weather. What? Spell the word weather. Well, yeah. It's giving you a definition of the meaning of the word weather. You're, 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 weather. you're talking. Are you, are you talking about? But there's are you talking things. about school spelling policy? Well, we can do other things down that, can't well, it? could be in tomatoes, well, it could be in anything. Well, when you go to for when the teacher or whatever, your learning curriculum officer, which you're supposed to govern, by the way, to an answer, this person could be dyslexic, this person could have disability care, go for this dyslexia test, which you probably know what a dyslexia test is, we'll be in the same officer, then, and you turn around and sitting in, twirl, sitting in a room with a lady that's got so a man So you're saying that, the, you're saying that yeah. the assessment at Trinity was inappropriate? Yeah, and, and, and colleges as well. And it's so, so there was an assessment at Coldwell College which you feel was inappropriate? Yes. Do you know when this assessment took place? Well, it's every time a disabled person gets, gets assessed for, di for dyslexia. And I'm not just going by me as well. And me personally, yes, I did do the test. And yes, me personally, I think it's wrong. But me personally thinks it's wrong for everybody. Right, well... Yeah. It's like questions like... For me personally, spelling Wednesday because I'm dyslexic is hard. For you it could be easy because you've got an A level in English or whatever. Spelling colour could be easy for you. Spelling calcium could be easy for you. Right. But spell oh, words yeah. like that. Well, well, I'm, I'm, I'm showing up to three of words that where, jump where, with five hands. Where did this lot come from? Right. Because this it, is I, I've got no because contact. Because I'm talking to you. You're a very educated where, person. Where did this come from? Internet. The, right. The, the, so, so you so can this find is a word this on the internet and see what it's yeah. mean. Now, they are words. Now, you're an educated person. You've got an A level in English. You should be able to read them. 
Yeah? That is same as you're reading them. It's like going to a child with a learning difficulty said, read the word colour, read the word weather. They're going to find it hard. Or you can't spell expect that to what, redo that. What, what, is, what, is, right? what, is, what is the co- concern here? The concern is the test needs to be examined and needs to be made better for somebody to be tested on. Because it's, it's not like saying, it's not. they can't it's, do that, can't do the word whether or colour. We use that as an example. Right, you'll have to stay on E1. That's like me saying to you, you can't read them, do you know what they mean? Let's you be on E1. If you get what I'm getting right. to. Yeah? So what the concern there is, is that the assessments used at school and at college were inappropriate. Very inappropriate yeah. for someone who's disabled. Right. I felt... Can, like, you, can you explain, tell me what them words mean? Well, if you're taking them off the internet, I'm, they don't fit to, to... You're an educated person. I, I, I'm, I'm losing the thread of it. I'll do a little bit of the test here. I'm, I'm losing, losing the thread of it here. Hang on, don't get across. Don't get across. No, no, I'm losing the thread here. You're telling me that the assessments that we used at Trinity and at Coldwell College were inappropriate. Yes, very And that's your concern. Yes, very inappropriate. Uh, and, and my answer to that is have you, did you at the time, talk to the schools and the colleges concerned and say that we were concerned about this assessment, this isn't helping us at all. Yes, I did, con- right. I did con- raise it up and nothing right. was done. And, and your concern then is, is the, the, what do you want from the council in terms of the college and your time there? Bear in mind that it was been some years... To meet your people's mental health, learning disabilities, meet their needs. Everybody's unique, everybody is different. And I want you to have a look at this test and everybody is different. Clearly, what you're yeah. showing me isn't a test, and I know what you're showing me, but I don't know what test I have shown you, and you can't recall that either. Well, I can tell if I can recall the thoughts a lot of the test is this, this big fancy corporated words that this disabled person will not understand. Colour is mentioned in the test. Read this scripture. Is penetrated in the test. I've got a picture of that block block thing. This one, this one. Oh, I want a picture of it. Where's the block? Where's the blocks? Pick it up, that one. Explain to me why they are in the test. What are they? Did you actually? The test? Did you do this test with a school or not? I did the test with the school and the colleges and I think like that. Well, not, 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 not knowing what the actual test is, yeah, that involves weeks, but the. But there are assessments to test the youngsters' uh, spatial understanding, yeah, which require replicating models within time. And those are legitimate tests which are used primarily by educational psychologists to help understand whether that young person has strengths or difficulties with certain types of functioning. Yeah, yeah I yeah, understand like, that. And, and, leading, and that leads to... Uh, 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 an explanation of that young person's strengths in auditory or visual, visual memory, for example. Yeah? Yeah. But I'm not aware which test you have used. Yeah? I've felt that you have been given a Trinity Senior, as was, or a college. Yeah? Yeah. And don't forget that you were of the age when your statement of special educational needs ceased because you left school system to go to college and at the time that was the legislation yeah the statement didn't follow the young person into college yeah so the, the council's responsibility yeah was around the time you had a statement and we'll have records of annual reviews yeah whether we will be able to talk to the staff concerned whether they still work is a completely different issue well i'll go back into education and i'll write it again but, you, then? but but clearly if that's something you're discussing we will look at that yeah and I, I know can, I'm I, can, I, I can find clearly. out from oh, the trinity i can find out from trinity academy how the records of holy trinity senior yeah uh, have been managed, yeah. I can do that if you would like. Don't forget, they are different schools yeah. now, yeah. I'll, I'll and uh, and um, say that you are raising concerns about the test, yeah. I'll well, I'm not sure test, that I'll be able to, wrong. you know, do much about it. But for the college, there was no statement because of the legislation at the time. So that's something you would need to talk to the college about that you feel you were inappropriately managed through the learning assessments at college. Right. And I go to the college, 
and I speak to the college, you know, the Twin Anna City, it's got nothing to do with us. Go speak to the education they department. They, they, they do. I'm, not, I'm not joking you, John. I've been there to the situation, right. and they do. It's always, go see the Calderdale Council Education right. Department. Can, can, we, can, we just say, can we just say, I hear that then. So, since you've raised this concern about your provision at college, yeah, you're, in, in the last months or so, you've talked to college about this, you wrote to me saying you're concerned about us, yeah? Uh, uh, who, did, who in college told you that this had to be discussed with the council, not me? You say, you know, when you go into that room where you'll call them and you see these, um, what do call them? They will come to me in a minute. They're like career officers, but they don't call career officers in college. Right, can you remember any names of people? Jim Miller, um, Dale Stevenson. So when did you speak to, is Jim Miller, Dale Stevenson one person or two people? That's two people. Jim Miller's an Asian lady and it's always, it's nothing to do with us. You are now banned from the college for raising the Right, now are we talking about your concern about your education while you were at college? I'm talking about my education, I'm talking about right, other people's so, as well. So you, Dale had told you that you needed to talk to Coldwell? The client says, well, it's nothing to do with us, you must go speak to Coldwell Education. And that was specifically about, about you, David? That was specifically about me. Right. I'll, I, I have no idea who Dale is, nor Jamila. I'll, 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 will I, however, try and find some names at college, yeah? And that's a specific that I can say, yeah? Mm -hmm. Find out when, do you remember when it was they spoke to you? Week? Last year. Last year now, maybe last what? year. Before the summer last year? Or? Before the summer last year. Every time you speak to Collardale College or any, any case in, in Collardale, it's always, it's nothing to do with us. You must speak to the education officer. And I'm sorry, John, the education officer for me is you. So well, I'm, I'm hearing that and I'm, I'm, and, and, I'm, and, and I'm, saying, I'm listening, yeah. I've responded to your letter, yeah? Uh, so you have to give me some credit for yeah, that. And, that, yeah. credit and for I've said I've said I'd meet with you today, which I am doing. Yeah. I'm trying to draw We're out trying specifics. To get to it I'm trying to draw out specifics too. that I can respond to, yeah? yeah, rather than general concerns. I've also given you some suggestions, and I will talk to the senior officers about your perception. Uh, 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 about uh, the, the council's response to young people with learning disabilities. I'm also suggesting unique ways would be a way you can get your voice heard and magnified if you like. You will meet other concerns, like-minded people, and you'll be able to usefully use your time to support, because that's what you seem to be telling me, there's more than you who you're worried about. Well, I can only follow up for you on the things. So, so far I've said, I uh, talked to Dale or Jamila if indeed these people are. I just want to why they're passing the book. And and I'll, the I'll say that you, to you, you, you feel. Can't, obviously, you don't know anything about If they're about talking it. about you, yeah. yeah, that doesn't seem to me something I can. Who was in charge of Camilla and their role? Who was their they, boss? They, who's their boss at college? The, yeah. Who's I, I, I don't know. As we, between David and me, we're not entirely sure who they are. Are they like on the progress side because you're indicating to well, once, right which is where the student support well, one's office is. Tutor, Dale's the tutor and Jamila's the one what's supposed to put everybody into courses. They've got a fancy name. You can't expect to find, remember a fancy name with having dyslexia anyway which you should know no, about. No, 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 you keep yeah. saying that and I'm not trying to pin you down with that but but, but as, 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 I, as, as I don't know them, I will try and find out who they are yeah but as, you know, it's not easy to do that if we're not entirely sure of their role in college, yeah? And I shall try and find out, and I shall point out, and I shall say that you feel that... that well, they went to the same core meeting, and Camilla was in that same core meeting, and there was a lady in the corner just a minute, and writes everything down. Well, Camilla... At we college? Were, at the college, yeah. Jamie came out, and I went back in to have another meeting, and they asked Jamie Pryor, that says, I don't want Jamie to come in to the next meeting, because I find him a bit scary. So is this a meeting about you? No, about anyway. So I asked him to wait outside. Well, so it's been meetings like that for me as so well. That's, that's, that's not. Uh, but he wanted to be there to be, help his sister. That's the that, that's, that's, yeah. that's. And I told him so basically says to him nice. I was not so rude about it. And I think like, I told him around the system. Why isn't an officer from the council or anything like that that's trained 
and who's a professional there in the meeting. If and you're giving me an answer. If you're talking around, I want to move more into a discussion. But if you're talking about around and the recent her moving out of college, etc., time period, yeah, you might well have a, 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 there's a question there. But if you're talking about yourself, yeah, I I I need I'll follow that, yeah. yeah. I don't. There is if if feels that she wishes us to follow up that issue about how the management of her time at college was followed up. That's an issue I'll talk to <laughs> mum about. I don't have a problem with that, yeah? Yeah, I really don't. Well, but it's you telling me that this is about either. you yeah. and dyslexia tests, not, not you. Him. This not, is about not how they treated him at the college. I'm totally, he wasn't scary. I'm scared of him. But, but, but I hear that, but David, you didn't tell they me this. You could ask him to leave, but don't say because he's scary. D D David, you told me this was about how people didn't support you as a learner, yeah, as a learner. not how they trap you as you were trying to support your sister. Yeah. Is it about you as a learner you wanting me to follow it's up? Both, or, well, I can learned. follow up on... But I have to do it here because I forgot... I'll, follow, up on, I'll now, follow up on the David bit. But, so yeah. David, you're asking me yeah. to try and find out why in college, when you were a student, yeah. People, did, as you said, did. I was supposed to want to know why, if they cannot understand what a person's needs are, why aren't they expect? Why aren't they contacting somebody who is a specialist in that field? Right. And you're a specialist. Right. So if we're talking, yeah. if we're talking about when you were at college, yeah. yeah there should have been people from the college learning support side. Do you remember a man called Russell Moody? I remember a lady called Joanne Dutson. Yeah, so she's a member of the support people, from memory I think she is, yeah, yeah, she's a member of the support staff. She should have been included in discussions about you when you were at college. Yes. Yeah, so if you feel that that hadn't taken place, I will try and find out some names, but I think there's a discussion you need to have with college, but you've got to be clear that it's about your time at college and how on Thinking back on it, you feel let down by college, yeah? If you're talking about how <laughs> feels things were managed, I would prefer to have that discussion with <laughs> the present, yeah? yeah? And then I'll follow up on yeah. that, and I might well have an answer to that, yeah? And I might well feel, hmm, but let me hear what to say first on that one, yeah? I'm just trying to separate out the two. So I will talk to college about your experiences with yeah. Jamila and Dale yeah. around your course and your assessments yeah. and the way you weren't supported yeah. in decision making yeah. around your course. Yeah. So another question I'm asking is from my personal experience, why wasn't you involved with the meetings? Right, the around your personal yeah. experience, yeah. Right, I'll answer that directly, around your personal experience, you were a college uh, under the old legislation and the old legislation did not give any responsibility to the council after you left school, yeah? It gave the responsibility to the college, yeah? And they were responsible. It's the new legislation which has seen statements replaced by education, health and care plans. And education, health and care plans can go across school into college. When you were at school, you had a statement of special educational yeah. needs that was valid only for school. That was the law at the time, yeah? When you left school, the document ceased because it wasn't a valid document in school, in college, yeah? And that's why the council had no involvement in your time at college, yeah? Because the legislation at the time didn't give the responsibility to the council. So, so going, on to that, going on to that subject, it said in the law as well, when you turn to the age of 18, so I waited two years till I turned 18, and I turned around and says, I would like an education officer from the council to attend a meeting, or a SEN officer. They turned around and says, you are not entitled to that. 
It's not, it's not in your, your rights to have that. But wait a second, I'm 18. It's my rights to my education. Uh, at 18, under that legislation, you were certainly able to make your voice known, which you've said. But if I understand the question correctly, college were quite right in saying, not how they said it, but as you have described it, but quite right in pointing out that the legislation didn't involve an expert from the council in terms of education because the council did the statement ceased at leaving school. Had you stayed at school as an 18 year old, yeah, uh, uh, the council still had responsibility, but because you went into college at that time, the council had there was no mechanism under the law for the council to be to be holding statements into college. It just wasn't the legislation. The 2014 legislation was the change of that, yeah? And that was one of the reasons they wanted to change the legislation was because people in college felt less supported than people at school. That was one of the reasons parent groups were saying there was a, it used to be called a cliff edge, yeah? When you left school, there was no support for you. Yeah? So that's why they changed the legislation. But you, you can only manage that under you, your age at the time, can't you? You, you, were, you were 16, 17, 18, yeah. way before 2014, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so the, whether the college said it in a nice way is different. Yeah? But yeah. they were, there isn't a facility, there wasn't a facility for the council to be supporting your education at that time. Yeah, the careers people had a responsibility, and they certainly should have involved them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there was a mechanism to make sure careers were involved. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they should have involved those in people in your support at college. Yeah. In the old system like you, yeah, changed in fourteen, which will be twenty. Mm. Then she'll be that'll be the time when she started college. Because college. that's three years ago. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and the new legislation brought in what was called a conversion, sometimes a transfer process, where statements for those where there was still a need became, and I'm using my hands to show yeah. that, became yeah. EHC plans, yeah. yeah? Yeah? For a review and a meeting and all of that, you know, which is what has happened to youngsters younger than you. At your age, whether they said it rightly or not, the college d couldn't call on because there wasn't that legislation. So what's going to be in place for like, Jamie and anybody else in the similar situation? Because they get the education up to 24. The, After 24, they leave, then what's there for them? The, 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 the education them? isn't up to the age of 24. It says that where that young person is able to access meaningful programmes at college and has outcomes to work on, education can stretch out up to the age of 25. That year you are, school, academic year more accurately, that you are 25. So they have to stay in education, I'm No, they don't. They no. got a job or something. No, they don't no, know. They nothing, absolutely nothing. This is a young person's choice no and where they have legitimate outcomes and courses to work out those outcomes on, if you like. Yeah? It isn't about everyone has to stay at school to 20, or college to 25 or anything like that. Well, if you haven't got a grade C, or this is the other thing that come in there, got a grade C in maths and English, I've been told they have to stay at college to get that. No, um, if, they are, if, they are, if they are 16 year old learner, leaving school and going to college without a grade C or equivalent, because it's just changed recently, they need to continue to work at maths and English until they are 18. So that's it until they're 18. Yeah. Okay. So a young person leaving school this year, going to college to do electrical engineering, who hasn't got a, a GCSE at the right level in maths, would do the electrical engineering course if they could get onto the course, and do the mathematics alongside that and 
until they were 18. But you don't have to keep doing it. It's, a, it's what the government wants to do. So don't you have to do a mask, Andy? You always have to do the mask for that one, then? No, so, no, it wouldn't be an issue if they needed so it. Say, My example just said... It's just that some something. people can be more better at maths and some others can yeah, be better yeah, at that's why, better use, well, that's why I use... Well, it could be yeah. English as well. It could. Yeah, that's what I said. So say I was a young person and my education wasn't being metered at school or, or if I got a bit older, I left school and went to college and it wasn't being metered no. nor met, whatever you want to, yeah, find words you want to do. And I wanted personally to go to an education authority, say, special school or special education authority, and to say, look, my education's not being met at this college, here is my evidence it's not being met. If, if you had an EHC plan, if you were a young person, and it can't be you because of your age, yeah, yeah, if, you had, if another person leaving school this year, yeah, yeah. another youngster, yeah. yeah, leaving school this year, 16 year old, going on into college, yeah. yeah, there would be a discussion with college about their needs for the education, health and care plan. If that young person felt that they weren't being met, that young person would there would be annual reviews at college, but if they felt that nothing was happening, that young person would talk to my team and there would be a meeting and a discussion. Right. And that's a change because that wasn't available when you were at college yeah. because of your age. Not because you were 25, but because you were 16 when the legislation was different. Yeah. Okay. That's why I'm trying to get to the situation so I understand yeah. where I'm coming So you could say it's better now. Yeah. But unfortunately, we're only working on the legislation. Yeah. So that says, so if I, I think the school or college or whatever is not meeting my needs, and I'm making a fa uh, well, I get my mum, because I have this guy, I can't write until I'm dyslexic, but she also said the pers young person must write the letter. Wait a minute, I'm dyslexic, I can't write a letter. Don't well, we haven't said, we've never said the young person has to write. I don't have a problem with the young person writing with their parental support, but that young person, it is not right for the parent to contact the local authority without the young person's involvement. Yeah, I understand, I understand that bit, but if, say I'm really physically, mentally ill, disabled, don't have, don't, can't, can't pen push a letter and can't, I tolerate it. The government says I can tolerate it. If that young person doesn't have the capacity, the ability to do that, David, yeah, yeah. clearly that parental support or other advocates, yeah. there are advocates for young people as well, work with young people and would be supporting that young person to do that, yeah? yeah. But always, even for young people with that level of needs, they should be at the centre. You certainly would yeah. not want a discussion about your needs as a 16 year old if you weren't involved. Well, if I wasn't physically being able to do it, there is a corporation now called the Court of Human Rights. But that, that, that still places the young person at the centre. There is no argument there. We, I agree entirely with you. That young person in your scenario has the absolute right to have the support of a parent or an advocate. Yeah? Yeah. That's no problem so to us at question. all. That into an issue. That so, into an issue. Yeah. So my next question is, you've just said around and said they're entitled to do that. With them, I said. Yeah. yeah, with them, yeah. So why, if they need the support and the help and, and that, are they not being allowed to go to a specialist college or a specialist school? Right. You, said, you must go into mainstream education because it saves money. You are, you are in danger of moving into your discussion around your sister here. Yeah? I'm, I'm using me as an example. You said I'm not allowed to. So I'm using your tactics, your clever tactics, I'm using David, David, David there are no tactics, skills. there are no tactics in this discussion. I'm trying very faithfully oh, yeah. to answer your, 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 your questions. We always involve young people at the centre of discussions, yeah? We would, wherever possible, look to meet their needs locally, and locally in the terms of college doesn't just mean literally local to Halifax, it means in that other area of reasonableness around it, because that's what happens to young people. Yeah. Courses are run at some colleges which aren't run at others. Yeah? Yeah. We would, wherever possible, all the evidence says 
that you get good outcomes by working with local provision. We want young people to leave college and to move into the world of work, either full or part, or including volunteering. That's all the evidence says, that young people have a better chance in life uh, uh, if they are able to be part of their local community. All the evidence says that. Yeah. The new legislation is strongly skewed towards supporting young people to do that, strongly pushed yeah. towards supporting. Yeah. We don't have a problem. And as regards narrowing this down to your sister, as I've said, I'm more than happy to have a discussion with your sister. Yeah, well, and I don't mind if you're that. there to be an advocate for with her as well. That doesn't cause me any problems whatsoever. I understand, Mum, the 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 contact with social care and there was meetings suggested I think those are contacts that she probably should follow up yeah and I understand that Glenn uh, 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 Swindells has been mentioned because we have other options for young people who are at college to, to offer them a, a range of opportunities to access what is available in Calderdale yeah, through what's called the five-day offer. We would be talking to young people, had you, David, yeah, left, college, left school and gone to college and been in the world of EHC plans, there would have been a different range of things on offer to you. Yeah? Yeah. And, and we want families and young people to, to, to work with what's on offer locally. Yeah, but what, I understand where you're coming from. I don't know if you want to call you Mr Perry or... I don't mind being called John at all. Right. Um, I don't understand why, if... Say, well, my, I've got a, a statement. Say, I've got dyslexia. I've got learning disabilities, and you know, physical, physical and etc., etc. Et but I do not get told of your department. Look, there is these other places that have specialised education places that you can attend. I always get told by your well, by well, you your, have to find it out yeah, 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 your, you must go to Calderdale College. We will transfer you now to Calderdale College, or to Kirtley's College, or to Bradford College. Well, we always work that, talking in the, the general, which is what yeah. you're talking, yeah. yeah, there is always discussion with that young person, and that young person has an opportunity to talk to careers people, there are reviews at their school, and there's an opportunity to see and visit places, yeah? yeah. You, you can't look at your experience and say that as the experience of someone leaving school this year. Yeah, it's yeah. not the same. If you feel differently, perhaps you illustrate why the legislation's changed because you feel your journey from school to college wasn't well managed. But I want to know why we do not get, well, for my person when leaving school, we do not get told, look, there are these specialist places that can deal with your learning. Well, we've got the, the legislation changed yeah. in 14, and we still don't know because we didn't know about no, it. There are, in, so it still you, goes there are inside, there are inside, inside college, all colleges, uh, 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 a range of courses. Yeah, It isn't like a school where. Uh, uh, the college in Coldale has uh, uh, an employability course. The college at, at Huddersfield, at Kirk Lees, has an employability course, which takes a range of youngsters who went to either and or a special or a mainstream school and operates a course at what's called entry level. Yeah? It doesn't just have like a mainstream school one level, it operates a range of courses specialised courses within that college, yeah? If, if, if your sister has some concerns around her experience, that's a discussion that I'll happily have with her, yeah? But, but it, isn't, it isn't the same as specialist and non-specialist, because the college operates a range of courses, yeah? It doesn't just do level two plumbing, level three animal care, those vocational yeah. courses. It does a range of life skills courses as well. Yeah, and currently the college, under perhaps a slightly different title, offers the same. And at Bradford College, they have similar range of courses. You can go and do a vocational course around your interest area: electronics, or or, or gaming, or, or or health and beauty, or fitness, or whatever. Yeah, yeah? or you can go on and do the a, a life skills and employability course 
and then move to something you wish to do, yeah? That's often the route that learners with learning disabilities take, yeah? Coming out of either a special school or a mainstream school, a local college offers a range of courses, specialist courses. Right. So, talking about the exam process for a disabled person, talking myself as well, why is it always pen push? Oh, I've lost you though, why is it always what? It's what? dyslexic. I and think it's, that's my hearing, yeah. it's, it's not... It's not, better at practical. It's not, I, I miss, again, I, it doesn't want the academic side. I miss, I miss the word. Uh, what did you say? Why always offer what, David? But when you go and do, do your course, because you have an exam, don't you know? You can't do... Some assessment. Yeah, right, yeah. you can't do coursework anymore. It's, it's, it's scrapped. It's scrapped. I know it's scrapped because I will know when it was right. scrapped. So now you have to go do a written exam. For a disabled person in my shoes, and for other people, but like, why is it written? And why is it you sometimes can't have a support worker there if you're not capable of reading or anything like that? You must do it well, yourself. I can't speak for all the courses because I understand, my understanding is, is that the entry level courses you do get assessed on a different range of skills. But you are right that the GCSE courses, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but that's not us as the council or the college or the school. That is a decision that the government has taken that it wants exams to be through end of year exams. It, it is not what the college or the school, it's not their decision, it's the government who have made the decision that they want those exams to be run in that way. There is dispensation, but not for English to the same extent, you are absolutely right, but, but that's, we all have to work with the legislation, the law that, that schools and colleges are given yeah, around but exams. But your job is a SEN, a SEN officer, so I've always taken your job as a SEN, a SEN call officer, whatever type, type you want to give it is to turn around and stick up for the disabled person. That's your job, to stick that, up for the disabled person. That doesn't person. mean that, 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 that there are representations support. made oh, by, yeah. there are representations made by uh, uh, local authorities and by specialist organisations, the sort of organisation I belong to as well, yeah. uh, uh, about this. But in the end of the day, the government makes the law and if the government decides that GCSEs are end of course exams in an exam hall we can only ask and say we don't think but at the end of the day it's just like one of those annoying rules in life yeah that you have to stop at red traffic lights yeah it's a law that's been done by the government that's what they want yeah and they have good reason for wanting that i'm not saying i agree with it entirely but that's we all have to work with it but when you, you do we? these tests which i presume that you're supposed to govern the test make sure they are done where does your say and your impact come in with the yeah. government about the education? Yeah. If you want well, to as I say, as, as I say, yeah. as I say the, 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 so there are exams, entry level exams, don't have the same level of, of because yeah, of the nature of your... Yeah, but if you don't agree with it, where do you come in? How, how, well, if you don't agree like, with that exam, like he doesn't agree with it, I say you don't agree with it, you might not agree with it, where do you As I said, as I said when, when regulation, when, when the... Uh, the education, when the, uh, the regulations changed and there was a chance for, to make comment, people like myself made comments about the, the impact on youngsters with special education needs and disability. However, you can only make contact, can't you? If that's the law, you work within the law, don't you? And a school has to do, and the, the school and the college has to follow the GCSE regulations. It can't do anything more, can it? But it can only do what it's allowed to do. That's why... Well, people, as I'm, just saying, I'm just saying you make representations and people yeah, do. Right. So people do and have so, and constantly do. So, the, so you, this person must go and do this specialised government authority test. So the school should, so college should, so should try to say to your department, I'm sorry, same officer, I'm not using your... There was a thing I know that's wrong for me to do to use, as a, to use your name as an example, but I'm not saying, sorry, Mr. Sen Officer, or Mrs. Sen Officer, this person cannot do this test. 
See well, the, the school have responsibility for the entrance of people into exams, yeah? Yeah. It's a school responsibility, clear as anything, yeah? And the school will look at the regulations, yeah? Mm -hmm. And they will look at what they're allowed to do in terms of extra time, because some tests, yeah. you know, and, and in terms of uh, uh, what's called an amendment, so someone to write for them. Uh, if you reach certain, they have a, a test a, assessment to do a school, if they can prove that, they will do that for young people. Absolutely they will do that for young people, yeah? yeah. Uh, but if, as in English, it says you cannot have this, that's, that's, we all have to work yeah. within the law of the land, don't we? Yeah, but the same, same, same. Um, and that doesn't take away from the fact that people are passionate and support people with learning disabilities, yeah. but, but you so all have to work within the framework. So you're supposedly having the evidence there in front of you, be being a clever person and passing the exam to become this clever person, this same officer, should know by looking at the report David J. MacDonald has dyslexia, has learning disabilities, has dyspraxia, has that. So Jamie must do this exam, yeah? You should think as a same, trained same officer, Jamie cannot do this exam, so Jamie's not suitable for the, the, this exam. So, oh, this school. There should be something else. So there that, should be, so you were the same officer. That school, those are questions that the school quite rightly should ask. Yeah, and 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 I have to say, no. The school should ask those questions first of all. Yeah. And if a youngster at a time when you were at school had a statement of special educational needs, that would be a reasonable discussion at an annual review. Yeah, involving the council then. But the first port of call is the school and the parent and the young person having that discussion. When they're post 16, it's the school, the young person and the yeah, parent. But the question is, why aren't the school doing that? Well, I think you'll find they do do that. If you felt they didn't do in their, in your instance, yeah, I'm going to find out for you, like I said, about where the Holy Trinity senior school, because that's when you were in school. Yeah. But don't forget, before you got to the final exams, yeah, a decision had been made that you were going to be educated at home, yeah? yeah. So I... But, but when I first started school, I was let down as well. This point didn't go into... And, and, and... Yeah, I'm, 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 I, I, I'm going to find out where those records are and and what the uh, 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 point of redress for you is. I'd like to see these records because I think well, there's some lies on them. Well, that's, that's something that if we knew who to contact, yeah. that's a decision that you can talk, take some advice and do if you want, and I'm going to do that, yeah? I'll, I'll move my watch to the table, because I've got to be careful about the time, because there are other meetings no about as well. Yeah, yeah. Got three apart. Oh, uh, and it looks like it's getting dark as well, yeah. and it, I think it must be about half two, is that right? 2.25, yeah. Yeah, about half two. So I, I, I've got to be somewhere else for free. So we, we need to yeah. be allowing us to pack up okay. and get over there. So what? What more specifically? It's been an interesting discussion, and and, and I can see your frustrations. Yeah, and and. I'm, trying to address some of the specifics. There aren't actually many specifics that, that, that you've said to me so far, but I'll go through those in a bit, yeah? Is there anything that we haven't discussed that you feel we need to, around yourself, that you feel you want, in relation to your letter, that you want the council to follow yeah. up? Yeah, yeah uh, the other issue is, once you don't get all of these authorities helping you and you want to get information, why do they say you must go to the learning support thing in Ebden Bridge, which has got no fancy name, and they say, it's got nothing to do with us, we are the NHS. Yeah? And then so you've got to contact the social services department. It's got nothing to do with us. You must contact... Was that your that experience? Department. That's my own experience, yes. So, or so, your department. Or so, so when was this, David? Well, well, I want, well, when I first wanted, well, I left, I wanted to go to Leeds College building. I couldn't get any information at all from what my... Yeah, where's the school for people? Yeah. Where they won't give it yeah. to him. I won't give so, it so to when him. was this? When he started to call Dale College. So, so... They're so not yeah. passing information across or all like that. So they, went to, they had to go, the yeah. college went to the school to get some yeah. So some when, you, when you went, so who sent you to Hampton Bridge College? Yeah. 
I tried to go to, Ed, go to, go to Edmund Bridge. I, well, I didn't know about Edmund Bridge. I went to speak to the GP, which is basically not his responsibility to turn around and tell me that this is the authority you must contact. It's not his job. The job is, this, well, I presume, this is your, your department. To so this is your, yeah. your school records? Yeah. I've no idea why the NHS at Hebden Bridge could have been involved in that. Who did you discuss? Did you discuss this with college at the same at the yeah, time? Yeah. Who, can you remember who, Mum? It will have been, there's a few of that mean, didn't it? It will have been the head of the school at the time, which I think is... is what, school or then? college? At school, we're trying to want it. Try, it's good, it's good. Well, yeah, yeah, but hang on, you just said it was college who wanted yeah, the right. paper. That was. Uh, it was the one before trying that. No, yeah, but it was school. School. Yeah. college. College, mum, college. It was, and then I went to college, I can't remember the person name upstairs. The, pr the principal left the show at Coldale College. So, so somehow at Coldale College, when you started. Start. Yeah, I think yeah. it's Chris Jones, I don't know, I think that's what his name yeah. was. He, he's the principal, yeah. but he wanted to be at the meeting that said, I want your records, can you go to Hebden Bridge and get them? Well, it's the, it'll, be, it'll be Joanne and Joanne, Jeanette Dootson, which I, well, I, it's just says, can I speak to Chris Jones, please? Chris Jones wasn't in, so it was the vice pr principal at the time, what? Right, so you discussed it with him, right, I'll, I'll endeavour to find out. Yeah, and direct. Now, I, I, I think it, it's easy for me to say, but I think you have, these are discussions that you may have to take up, yeah, in a formal way with college. You've written to me formally, yeah, yeah outlining your concerns. My concerns is Coldwell Coldwell College won't give them to me for some reason. They say you've got to speak to you, and I don't, no, I don't no, understand you said the reason. To, you said to me. Have you, has it been explicitly said to you, David, that, that you have to talk to me about your records? Yes. So you your college records, yeah. your college records, Jeanette Dusen has been yes. saying it has to be through us. Yes. We cannot give you all the information that has to be done by the Senate officer, which is your department. So well, I've come to your department to ask these questions. If you're talking about yourself, yeah. I'm talking about your myself. records, yeah. that's, I... I cannot see that being accurate because, as I said, the legislation at the time meant that when you left school, it, no EHCs, because it didn't exist, it was statements, yeah? And, and statements didn't go into cop. You can do that off us, yeah? No. Do you not have a copy of that at home? No. Well, if you want to, if you want to, to write to us, yeah, or with the support of someone, I don't think it says there, I want the records. I've, I have to say, I don't think it says, can I have a copy of the records? Just let me scan it again. No, it doesn't say, can I have a copy of my... Last so you statement. told me that in writing again, even though he's here with you at meeting asking me for them? Well, formally, there is a process which the council is required <laughs> to operate, and you are absolutely right, it can just be on a piece of paper. Can I bother your pen, please, don't Of you course. Yeah. Yeah. So are you saying you'd like a copy well, of your... It. It, 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 well, it doesn't matter, your mum yeah. can write it and you can yeah. sign it, that doesn't cause me any problems, yeah? That's, that's no problem. Can I write the date on it? Yeah. I'm sorry if you can't read it, but... I can. can get from it's not a problem, he's got a letter, he's got a letter, that's all yeah. right. He knows who we are. I'm not being pedantic, I'm not being pedantic. He knows who it is, it's alright. But, but, but equally, there are responsibilities on councils to make sure that the right procedures are followed, yeah? That yeah. the government lays down mm -hmm. freedom of information requests, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's not a problem to me, yeah? yeah. Your, your file from when you were at school and then electively home educated for a statement of special educational needs exists. Yeah. yeah? So what and that is isn't an issue. But it does not relate to Coldenell College because the plan at the time didn't the statement at the time didn't go into college, yeah? Because mm -hmm. that wasn't the legislation. So if you're asking for a copy of your records so if you want a record, you need to do no, something no, no, no. similar. Your mum or, or your dad or someone you know could write for you and you could just put your signature to it. 
dear Colonel College, I was a student at college from whenever it was to whenever it was, yeah? Uh, 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 can I have a copy of my learning records, yeah? And yeah. college will have to have a mechanism for, for yeah, responding that to that. Well, uh, there probably is a charge, and it may well be for this. Well, we asked for Zara's, he said there was a, a price for it to be copied out, that's why I'm asking you to do that. Probably, there probably is a photocopy charge, and I, I don't know. It's that's supposed right, to be reasonable. That's why I said, if I have a question to the college... It's supposed to be reasonable. I don't know. I requested it from the college. This is how I was getting to you. I requested it from the college. I was told you what they've just turned around and told me. Speaking well, to you. But my point is, I'm, now, yeah. I'm now telling you that that's not the case. I said I will follow through, yeah? If they are clear they're talking about you and your records, yeah? That's a different issue, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. We've got another meeting, we'll go for, yeah, for that one. I'm you know, what what Who are you seeing at college? Yeah. We're not seeing anybody now. You said you had another meeting at college. Oh no, we went to one and the Oh, you went to go, one? Thank you, Went to one there at Wow, going on back. Well, we're not allowed at the college, we're being banned. Well, it doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean that you can't. Not to go there. doesn't mean you can't write to them. As long There's as. There's no point writing to them, they won't give you anything. Well, they have. You can ask. We read in and we back. You have. They have a responsibility. Yeah. The we passage, that of, before and we, that's the passage of time may well be an issue, but that's for them that's to sort out, not me. Please, may we find out why we have been banned away from the college? No, I, 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 I have no idea. Yeah. You should be back able to find out why. That has has. No, it was. There's been, there's been yeah. a, I have to find out, I have to go through everything at home again. Well, we're not allowed to go to the college, take it up with right. the department. Is there anything more s- uh, around you? So you'd like, it, yeah. you'd like to see a copy of your SEN record yeah. from when you were a yeah. school age student, which is the council, this isn't the college, the school one, yeah? This is the council central SEN record, yeah? yeah. Fine. It, that's, and that's, who has the college ones? College owned the college one. Well, so you David might be owned the college ones then? Who would you talk to at college? I have to say, I don't know the name of the person. Well, he's given it name three times. Her name's on there, that woman. Yeah. Well, write to her then. Well, she's not there anymore, I don't well, think. Well, it'll have to be who it is now, won't you? I have a clue. Write to, 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 to the principal. Yeah. Dear principal. The principal, yeah. principal yeah. Colonel yeah. College. Yeah. I was a student at your college from then to then. Could I please have a copy yeah, yeah. of yeah. my learning record yeah. and my special, particularly my special educational needs yeah. record. But the will not give it me unless we have asked. Well, you ask in writing and then that's something, you say you're taking legal advice, you need to follow that up, don't you? It, it's difficult for me, there is a difference because at the time the legislation was different and he did not have, you did not have, because they didn't exist, a plan going into college, yeah? If you'd have been leaving school this year, that would have been different, yeah? But yeah. you left school in 2008-10, whenever it was, your mum said, yeah? Mm. Yeah, and that's because the legislation's changed part way through. Is there anything more that you want uh, in I'm particular? Uh, when the school closed, and it became, because they've become academies, one closed and comes academy with another one, yeah, and the other heard, like St. Catherine's closed down, and they all went to wherever they were to go to Trinity. Okay. Well, my daughter did, and she did some exams, at St Catherine's. Now she got her art one and she got a business studies and she got a B and they said that she'll get them when she leaves the academy. Well I went because I went in to ask her why she hadn't got up there and they said she'll get them. Now she got a heart one but she didn't get a business one and she was quite hurt. So we went up to ask about it and they turned around and said they're trying to get it and they never did. Now she says that she'd have to ring this people with board or whatever it number is, contact them to get it. And if turn around and says she can have a duplicate of it and it will cost her forty pounds. She doesn't want a duplicate, she wants her original. And, and and I have to say I don't know the mechanism for when it can She stayed on at that school well and they have done quite well with it, don't get me wrong. I the don't, the Academy so, has been so, quite good with So she did daughter. move from it's, St Catherine's to Trinity Academy. She did, yeah. And Trinity Academy have been okay with that. I have to say, I don't know. Yeah, I don't but know she has not got that. I don't know. And they said they'd look into it for her. And we ended up having to do it, and that's what they said. But she said, I don't want a copy, I want me a regional. 
I can I can see the concern. She also I don't told them her na a full name, and she told them to, and they still end up putting Phoebe as a middle name, and she says it's not Phoebe, it's Phoebe. Mm -hmm. And I they've still left it as that. But that's a small issue because I don't bother about it. I just want your certificate. Still got your rest of your name. And uh, but no, you're right. She is right. If you do an exam, you want your name to be right. So, but I have to, I'm being honest. I don't know. That, I don't know whether that's something you can reasonably expect Trinity or who the successor to St Catherine's is. I don't know. I'm being honest. I don't know. And that's a. It's an outside of this this discussion issue, isn't it? Yeah. My best advice would be that that's a further discussion with with Trinity. But I, I honestly don't know, yeah? I honestly don't know. And what's the role of an Ofsted inspector? What is the role of an yeah. Ofsted? In what context? In one context to man say that this school is better than this school. Oh right, for schools? Yes, you or mean. for colleges and that kind of thing. Well, Ofsted do inspections. Yeah. And uh, if you are a parent of a youngster, school-aged youngster, at a school, you get notified when there's an inspection coming, yeah, and they go into the school and they see how well the school is doing in meeting teaching and learning, and the youngsters are making making progress, yeah, and that's what they give an Ofsted judgment on from that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, say a school that is a grammar school, as uh, students in it that pass everything first time. So the officer inspector will say that's a fantastic school. Yeah. Now you've got to start a school like Longley, which is a special school for special educational learning, where there's people in there that cannot meet the need, meet 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 what a graduate a clever person. I was say I'm a clever person that can't build a GCSE. Can't build a GCSE. Yeah. That the officer inspector says it's a bad school. But wait a minute. Thinking common sense, and you should be able to answer this. The students in that school that can't get these at these levels. So why are they giving it, them a failure? I have I, no idea about the uh, uh, Longley School, which now has another name, Inspection. I, I couldn't comment on that. I don't know about it. Well, I'm using the example. It's a school that sits example. in another local authority, yeah, it's but it's about student progression. Yeah, it isn't about how many people get A stars at GCSE or A levels, it's about student progression, how you have progressed from where you started to where you left the school. So the Ofsted would be looking at teaching and learning in the context of the school and if they were in a special school they'd be saying, how well have these learners with special needs done? Yeah, not how well have they done compared to the Is students. Is that academically? Or could that be physically as well? It would be across. It is across. Because it's, it's more better at practical. Yeah. It is across all of the all of the domains. Yeah, but it is primarily be English, maths, but it's across other subjects as well. It does include sort of emotionally. Yeah. Other than the and, and and and, and uh, uh, well-being and, and safeguarding. All those are measured as well. Yeah. And uh, other than the government. Who governs Ofsted? The government. Oh, well, the, well, it's a government. It's a government. It's an arm's length government agency. They're accountable to the to the Secretary of State for Education. Yeah, right. So for education, why is the Ofsted inspector that goes and watches you do your job? Because it's an head of education. You or, mean me yeah. or or school? I mean, you was an inspector. Inspect, yeah. Councils are Ofsted as well, yeah, at various times under different measures, yeah, yeah. And, and it's the same. But does it always have to be the council inspector or can it be a government? No, it's, it's Ofsted isn't the council. Ofsted's not the council, it's, it's their government, yeah. They're a mixture of what are called uh, HMIs, the Magistrates Inspectors, and uh, what are called lay people, yeah, who are appointed by the Ofsted board to work with the inspection team. Right, so I'm a really person that's corrupt and, well, I'm using, not saying I am, but I'm using this example. I'm a person who's corrupt and I care a lot about money, I want to live in a big house, I want a flash car. I will take what they call a backhander. 
yeah, which happens a lot in government, I will take a backhander to pass this goal and to fail this goal, which has been done. Well, and it's been proven, it has been done. So David, why, why, David, why is if, it if you've that? got... This is becoming a much wider discussion than... I think it was going to government part than of yours, it. Than, 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 than your, than your letter. But I've, no, I've never heard uh, 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 that at all. I've never heard that at all. If you've heard that and you think that's a real issue, that's why I'm suggesting you work with other parents. If you feel that's a real issue, you talk to the appropriate people. But I have no evidence, yeah? No one's saying Dofsted's perfect. No one's saying schools are perfect. But I have no evidence. Of, 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 as you call so, it. So what's, so your, your, your job is to around and find suitable skills for people with learning disabilities and mental health and all that lot. So you look firstly at the school itself as general and you first thing you pop up is offset inspection of this school is a failure. You will put that school down as it's failed. We, our preferences, you, you brought into a much wider discussion, preferences for children going into school, whether they're starting school at Moorside, yeah, as you did, yeah, yeah. or whether they're starting secondary school at Holy Trinity, as yeah, you but... did, those are parental preferences the council works on, yeah, or as a young person going into college, they're the young person's preference. Yeah. They're not, they're not us finding a place. We you've build got to find from, to send that person. We build from the parental preference. The parents make the preference. Or the student makes or the preference. Or when they're post-16, yes, yeah. I said that. Yes. So, you turn, so I make a transfer, say, I want to go to Enshaw's Specialist College in... So I make a transfer to your department and turn around and say, my name is David Jim McDonald. I am a, a learner under your department of the same no, office in as, 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 as I said, David, I'm happy to have that discussion with your sister. I'm yes. using if, I, I want to uh, transfer uh, to, to it. I'm using you, it. I, 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 I want answers, John. I'm happy to have that discussion with your sister. As, as I've said, right. yeah. We, 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 we've, got, we've got to watch the time because I've got right. to be somewhere right. else. And, and we have had. We have had. So we need to. The we need to bring you, that to we like need to bring that to a discussion. It's, yeah. it's they kind of need to be supportive, yeah. And and uh, I've tried very carefully to answer all your questions, yeah. Uh, I hope you recognise that, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and, and 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 I'm as you know, I'm uneasy that you're being taping me, yeah? yeah. And I don't expect that to be used anything for what you said it was to use for, yeah. Yeah. Training purposes, but yeah. no, you didn't say training counselor. purposes. For him now, it's for our education. Training purposes for education. You didn't say training purposes to me. You said that was because the, for us, you needed and to keep a record so you could take me to to a tribunal. Oh no, that's not going into a tribunal. That's so this is this. So as you know, I've been uneasy, but I have sat down and answered all your questions. I've not ducked anything yet. Yeah? So uh, I'll explain to you why I've recorded you. If you want to explain to you why. You explained that at the beginning. I'll, 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 I'll go a bit further into detail because you're asking me what, what, why I'm recording. I didn't ask you. But yeah, you were asking me why you was recording me. This is exactly why I've recorded you now. Now you can come to and say, you didn't say that. You just said that. You contradict yourself. You say, oh, I will look into this. Oh, Ten no. months later, you still say, I will look into this. Oh, then oh, I can go oh, further and further. David, I, David, you can say that on the tape now, but the truth is you have asked me to look into some things. I have said I will look into them. Because it's on tape. Uh, and I have not actually now. had... No, I would have done anyway. Yeah, I don't need a tape to be able to look into things, yeah? But, but you haven't asked me before, David. Yeah, we've had no, we have had no contact before this. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. No. You've had no contact. I've Tell me what was that matter. building next to uh, the staff room where you walked into all the Trinity and you sat in a big David, if chair you're referring to when you were at school, I will have seen you at school, but you have not raised these questions with me since you've left school. I've raised these questions a long, long time. You haven't raised you these around. questions, David, with me since you've left school. Can you remember school. why I, uh, I left school? The, you, the, the, contact with, the contact with myself is the first contact for many long years with this letter.
yeah? And I'm happy with I'm that. I'm sure you yeah. came to one of his meetings. No, I'm talking... No, but I'm sure you came to one of his I'm, meetings. No, I, it might have been a while ago, but you came to one of his I, meetings. Since David has left school, yeah. there's been no contact from David asking me to follow up on anything. And I have not had any contact from you until just still before Christmas, which to be ago. fair to the council wasn't addressed to me, it was fed to me because you went to customer first. But it actually, time I when I came to <laughs> Which was some was many me. years back, wasn't it? No, this year, uh, just last year, when I came to see no, you. No, that time David, I you. the last time oh, I saw no, David, yeah. the last time I, mean, I saw I David, David was so many years, years back. Uh, next question to ask you, can you remember why I left school? David, no. No? Do you want me to really go back into it? Because this but is the same situation. I've got time for that. Don't need to go into that. I was starting to remember. David, I can't. And, and, and we, we're going to run out of time here. Is there any more specifics that you wish me to pick up on? I just want answers to all the questions. I'm just yeah, you can look into the, yeah, you can look into all his educational background, if you like, and tell me where it could have been improved. Where they failed and make sure it doesn't happen again to anybody else. And don't lie to me while you're doing it. I don't, I, Jamie, that's unfair because I've not been lying to you. That's, that's terribly unfair because you wrote to us before Christmas, yeah? Why you took you, it into customer first before like you're Christmas. You just around in circles all the time. I, mean, just I understand that. Same as with I me, understand that. Done, I'm going to get, but, try to get resolved. But while you, while you were at school, you had discussions with the local authority, with your mum. Your mum took you out of school. There were meetings. You went to college, yeah? This is the first time that these issues have come back to us since you left school around yourself, yeah? I'm fairly certain that's true. You've not written to us or because made contact. Found, yeah, and the reason why they've all come to light is because you failed some of his friends and it's always out. Yeah. Right, and, and that so clearly, I, 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 I understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. And that's what, so, so, that's so, 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 so to be told that I'm lying to you, when I'm not I'm saying you're lying, right, but I'm just saying it's just going around the answers. When I've not had contact until just before Christmas. Well, yeah. when I was a young pupil. And you actually then. said at that contact, yeah. David, you did not want to meet with me. Yeah? It's only since Christmas that you said... Because I was the first... I thought... I, set, I sat at home and I thought to myself, wait a second, I've spoken to John millions of times, but nothing's been done. Well, I haven't spoken to you millions of times. Uh, as, you a young as, from uh, as a school, yeah. as, a, as at school, I will have had involvement yeah. with you. Yeah. I, I, I didn't I, know we could have a meeting with you on your own, to be honest. I always thought the meetings were the essential meetings that like they all have at the school. We'll get and I thought everything yeah. would discuss around well, that. Well, I didn't know we could see you personally well, separately because no one tells you anything. Well, well, until my, you did my, last year, maybe, your Christmas, and can see about. Maybe, 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 Mum, that the maybe that the changing legislation, yeah, which has made it clearer in the local offer, has been for a good reason. Because at the time when David was at school, you felt you now feel in hindsight that you weren't aware fully of the system, yeah, and maybe that the changing legislation has been for good reason. In the future situations, youngsters moving from school to college will feel more involved. So maybe it is for the best, and maybe going forward there will be better okay, for the next generation. Because, uh, no, I'm not talking about, I'm talking I know, about but, uh, yeah, David's the friends. The legislation's changed, and that involves and it's still not helping them. Right, so, so we need to okay. discuss that another time. I'll send you a copy of this. Please. Please. It's, it's for yes. the use that we describe yes. between ourselves, yes. Yes. if you could, yeah, yeah. please. Yeah.